Hey, this is your next video in the Home Buyers uh, consultation series. And this week, I went outside, get some fresh air, a little bit of sunshine. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, when it's time to start looking for homes. Now, at this point, we've discussed mortgages and how to obtain the right mortgage, pre-approvals, pre-qualifications. So once you get that, that in place and you have your price range or your budget um, to be able to go out and start looking for homes, that's when you should have in place your wants and your needs list. Now your needs list in a home are the top items that are non-negotiable. So bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, maybe any special uh, requirements in the home. Um, and then your wants list, which if you get you know 90% of, you'll be satisfied with the purchase that you're about to make. Wants list may be um, a finished basement, fenced in yard, maybe a pool. Those are the items on the want list that you may or may not necessarily need um, to be able to be satisfied with the purchase that you're going to make. Um, as real estate professor, professionals, uh, we will create an automatic search through our MLS or our website based on the criteria that you give us on your wants and needs list in your home. This automatic search enables you to go through the listings that are currently available, or homes that are available on the market, and um, start weeding that down to the top homes that you want to take a look at. Once you uh, start getting that list of the top homes you want to look at, um, in, in a typical market, you would go out and start scheduling showings or walkthroughs. Um, doing the walkthrough, you're able to go through and see if everything matches up compared to what's in the listing and review the disclosures. Now, every listing on the MLS comes with, just about every listing comes with a property disclosure and property information. And this is where the homeowner that's selling their home um, list any issues that may be in the home currently. Issues meaning foundation issues, water issues, electrical issues, everything from A to Z in the home uh, that you may need to note before you purchase it. It also shows you um, the utilities. It'll show you if it's got public water, public sewer, septic, well. Um, it'll show you the age or should show you the approximate age of the roof if they know. Um, it'll show you the approximate age of the furnace and hot water tank, central air if it has it, if they know. Um, when you look at property disclosures and property information, you want to see no's as far as any problems listed uh, with this home, no or unknown. Because typically with homeowners, if they don't know, they don't know. Um, if it's a home that was built many, many years ago, they may or may not know of problems that occurred years ago. They only know of any problems or issues that have come about since they've owned the home. Um, you know, older homes come with older problems. You know, if you're looking at a home built in 1910, it's going to come with, if it has been updated completely, um, you're, you're going to come with home or problems in the home because it's an old home from 1910. Um, the newer homes come with less problems. Um, but you want to be able to research everything you want and need in a home because this is the biggest asset you're ever going to own. Um, so working with your real estate professional, you'll be able to create that, that list of what you're looking for in the home, come up with the criteria, get your search started, and start looking at homes. This is the fun part of real estate is going out and looking at homes. Uh, so in a typical market, you could look at three houses, you could look at 30 houses trying to find that perfect home that you want to buy. Um, you by no means want to be house poor, so you need to stay within that budget. And after you start looking at homes, you may find a home you want to place an offer on. You work with your real estate professional to create an offer um, that makes sense for your current market. On a seller's market, you have to be at asking or right around asking price, depending on your seller's concessions at closing. Um, in a buyer's market, that's where you can get a lot of home for less amount of money. Um, you know, your budget, your, you know, if you need concessions as far as seller's concessions at closing to take care of your closing costs, that all plays in a factor in the offer that you make on the home. A lot of times with an offer, it is a play on money, so to say, uh, to make it make sense for you, to make it make a, a right investment for you, and also to appeal to the seller. Um, it's very important at this stage of the game to have a very good working relationship in relationship in general with your real estate professional so that your best interests are um, taken care of or taken an account of um, before you go putting an offer in on a home. So 
there's several items to walk through. There's several details to go through when it goes into looking for a home. Um, your real estate professional is there to give you the best guidance and the best information possible. So take this on an account before you go out looking at homes. If there's ever anything at all I can do for you, let me know. And this is your home search episode of the Home Buyers Consultation Series here on YouTube. Have a great day.